Folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is Friday, February 23rd, 2024. It's a beautiful day here in central Oklahoma. Got off work a little bit early. Going to get down here and do some things in the hives today. I'd want to get started a little earlier than I had uh, this month, uh, but a little behind because the weather's been uh, cold the last couple of weeks, but it's I think we're finally warmed up now and uh, I can get in here and start doing some things that I want to do. Uh, this video here, I'm going to get into the Apame hive number 34. I'm going to transfer that hive to a friend of mine who's trying to get bees going uh, up in Tulsa. So he had two hives last year, and whatever reason, uh, they didn't make it uh, through winter. He lost one before winter, and the other one seemed good uh, going into winter and everything. And on warm days, he had flight, but all of a sudden they were all dead so not sure what happened there so i'm going to get up there and try and help him out get him a new hive and uh, get one up there that uh, we know has got a good queen in it and is going well so hopefully we'll get that done tomorrow so i'm going to check out this apame hive make sure it's good and uh, that's that's what i want to take up there and uh, i want to take that hive because i can lock that thing down inside that uh, apame seven frame nuke without having to do anything and I can just transport it pretty easy. So let's get in there and see what it looks like, see if we find the queen. I think there's a red marked queen in there from 2023 and uh, we'll see, she should be laying some now. So that nuke is overwintered uh, through this last winter and we had a couple days that was right at zero degrees. So we had some really severe cold and uh, I actually had three nukes down there too in double decker, uh, five frame, so 10 frame, but they were up in the tops of those. So all three of those nukes came through that really cold spell. And uh, I did put a little bit of sugar and some fondant on them at uh, this uh, last month when I was, first of this month when I was in there. And uh, we'll check on them and see how they're doing. So let's get in that Apame hive and uh, see if that's uh, a good, good hive to transfer up to my buddy in Tulsa. Okay, here's our three nukes right here I was talking about, and we'll start with that apame there on the right. It uh, appears like uh, we've got plenty of bees coming and going out of each one. Got us a work crew over here next door, got a bulldozer going. You can probably hear that in the background. Let's start with this apame hive since that's the one we're going to be taking and then we'll get in and we'll do a quick uh, inspection on these other two nukes so this apame they didn't i put sugar up in these top feeders uh, after the cold spell and uh, to give them something to eat and they weren't eating much of that sugar at all so i think they probably got plenty of food inside of there and they did at that time got a few ants working on the sugar okay so the bees are up here uh, working on that hive of live fondant. They're not touching the dry sugar much at all, if any. Same thing on this side right here. So we'll take these feeders off of here for now, get in here. So these feeders will feed uh, dry sugar in the winter, and you can also feed liquid after it warms up. A lot of bees in there. Got a little bit of a shadow going on there. There we go. So, a little bit of liquid left here, and a little bit of capped honey. Same thing on this side. And here we're getting into some pollen and capped honey, capped honey. So yeah, they had plenty of their own food stores without me providing anything. And that much of a population, that's pretty impressive. Tells me this, this uh, high body of this apame is insulated really well. They didn't have to burn much of their own food. So I'm suspecting we've got eggs in here because there's empty spot here let me get this in the sun no no eggs yet right there but i bet we will have before long if we've got a good queen 
this shadow off of this hive here is kind of messing with me being able to see still just pollen right here no brood yet I'm surprised at the amount of pollen in here need to watch the front door and see what they're bringing in the uh, maple tree should be blooming pretty soon if not already so this side I'm not seeing any eggs yet Let me move these bees out of the way still not seeing eggs but on the other side of this frame is capped brood so here's our capped brood looking close for my queen she's probably going to be on this next one over they're really calm bees I haven't even smoked them so we have capped brood right here as well where is the queen there she is on this outside so she's probably looking to start laying right in here all these empty cells that's where she's going to put her next brood in fact i think she has started laying there right in the top so we'll get on out of here i want to call this good so when we get to tulsa with this we'll just pull these frames out and put them in his 10 frame box get some fondant on top of them and some pollen patty and get them going so this evening i'll come out here and uh, i'll slide this one shut just like that and they'll be locked in and uh, they got these little breather holes and there's two in the back as well that side's already shut so I kept just one open to overwinter them all right let's get in these uh, two here next door and see what they look like and uh, we'll get some uh, fondant and palm patties on these two okay we've got feeding shims on these two that I put on after uh, it warmed up a bit these are the Hive Alive fondant patties, and they are completely empty. So we may be in danger of starvation here. That's a sign of the way things are on some of my other hives. I need to get busy, make sure uh, these hives aren't starving out. This is the time of year when your your bees will starve to death. It's nice out. You think there's food, but there's not. There's no no uh, nectar out there for them. There'll be a little bit of pollen coming in before long, but no nectar for a while. Very little. Once you start seeing dandelions, there'll be a little bit from those. Well, they put a lot of propolis up on that uh, hardware cloth for that feeder. They're already building beetle jails for the small hive beetles. I hadn't seen any. Okay, so we've got sugar or uh, capped honey right here. So we're good as far as uh, food stores. They're good. This frame here has some honey on it too. Yeah, they're doing all right. They're not going to starve to death. They uh, must really like that fondant patty because they're eating that before they eat their own honey. Got some bridge comb going on down there in the bottom. This uh, top box must be a little tall. Uh, it might be one that I built to make room for queen cells. I want to go ahead and clean this off. Then when I get down in there, I'll take this box here off and I'll clean it off from the bottom as well. Not a bad looking hive, plenty of bees so far. Still more, more food. 
little bit of pollen in this bridge comb here. So they're bringing in some pollen now. Need to get the pollen patties on them. You want to get your pollen patties on about 45 days before your nectar flow so you're stimulating hive growth so that when all those eggs hatch from the queen laying at that time your hive will be at its peak when the nectar flow hits so around here it's about april 1st it starts but it's not real strong until it gets into end of may first of june this frame here is empty so i should be putting on my pollen patties and all of that uh, probably a couple weeks ago was when i should have been doing that but weather was not cooperating as cold and windy rainy we'll get into the bottom box now hopefully we'll spot our queen down there yeah that's got some weight to it yeah look at that this this hive has a good population we uh, should probably go ahead and transfer it into a 10 frame deep so this was overwintered, just like I said, just like this one. We had uh, two weeks of really cold weather. A couple days were uh, right at zero degrees Fahrenheit. So the queen was not up here laying, which I figured they would be all be up in the top after they've consumed that food. But they had quite a bit left over. Clean up some of this propolis. Now this bottom box doesn't have near the weight that that top one has. Man, there's a lot of propolis in here. <laughs> Everything is stuck together. Okay, this frame has very little weight. A little bit of capped honey right there. And here we've got our pollen. See the, the yellow pollen in this area? This hive here is a little more grumpy than the other. All right, capped brood. Got us a nice queen in here, laying a good pattern. Same thing here. And she's backfilled those empty cells that have hatched. This is a good queen here. I don't care for their uh, temperament though. I guess that hive next door spoiled me. <laughs> okay. Got our larvae on this frame. So we've had a lot of bees emerge in here and the queen has came in and backfilled these empty cells. Same thing on this side. I don't see the queen though. This hive could be expanded right now into a double frame or a double deep 10 frame. Or put a honey super on, which it's too early for that still. Okay, we got cat brood in the middle, larva to the outside. Same thing here, still no queen. This is a nice hive. This is one of last year's splits. Or it may have been a swarm, I'm not sure which. But it's down here on the end where it's, it's a new hive. If we don't see the queen, that's okay. We know she's in here. And this is all pollen here. We're not going to see her. Although with the smoke I put in there, I may have ran her over here. Uh, she might be on the wall or on the bottom. That's solid yellow pollen right there. Yeah, let's get them put back together. So one thing I'm going to do real quick 
kind of balance these bees out a little bit. I'm going to take this empty frame here on this outside and uh, put it in this middle position. So if that queen wants to move up and lay on the top, she'll have room to do that. But the fact that there's no pollen up there, she may not. But it'll equalize their space out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a pollen patty and some fondant in here. Okay, these are the Hive Alive patties that they sent me. And these are made with real pollen. And these are the, the high percent. I don't remember uh, the difference, uh, the, the numbers. I think it's like 30 something percent real pollen is in this. So this will give these bees a lot of protein. So we'll put this on one end and then we'll put this uh, fondant on the other. And I'm gonna leave the plastic or the, the paper on them so the bees I won't have to protect as much of that from the small hive beetles. It's this time of year, there's not that many except the ones that have overwintered. And here's our Hive Alive fondant patty. These things are great. Really kicks your bees off well. That may be one reason this hive's so much bigger than that one is because uh, they didn't seem to get in there and feed on that very much. Let's see, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to lay it in there right like that. There we go. I'm going to put the screen to the top this time so they don't fill it up with propolis. Let's get in this last one here. So they're still working on theirs. It's not quite all gone yet but they've ate the majority of it. So what I'll do before I get out of here is cut this out and uh, leave it in there for them. This hive doesn't have near the strength that the one next to it has. There is some old capped brood there that is probably dead. A little bit of dry sugar in here. I noticed a lot of dried sugar out in the front. Uh, we've got some, uh, some cold damage here. So there was an old cluster right there where they've died off. This may be a dead out. That's a shame. I thought this hive was doing really good. Got a few bee butts sticking out here. Based on the population and everything, I think this hive, because they still had some fondant there, I don't know if they cold starved or if they just got too small. This is jagged, this is robbed. So these bees in this fondant may be robbers. This is a failed out hive. There was honey in here. It's all jagged. It's robbed. That's why I saw sugar laying out front. Because they're uh, robbing this thing out. Well, bummer. Yeah, so we had us a little cluster about that big. Right here. So when I put that fondant on before, I did not inspect this hive to see if it was queen right or what, whatever. So that could have been frozen, frozen out uh, when that really cold snap hit, and I, I didn't inspect it, so I wouldn't see it. So I'll just uh, leave this here and let them uh, go ahead and complete robbing it out. Look in the bottom real quick. Yeah, there's nothing here. So that just goes to show you, you can't tell by looking at the front of a hive, bees coming and going, if you've got a good hive or not. Yep, there's uh, 
little frozen cluster right there. And we got ants crawling around in here. Pollen. And this is a robbed out honey frame. There was honey here and here. And see how it's all chewed up? That's from robbing. Okay. Well, so here's me 10 frames for this one next door. I can bring two deep boxes and put the, uh, the 10 frames there in the bottom and put these right above it. And uh, let them go ahead and grow, give them space. Won't do that in this video or probably even today. I gotta get in the rest of these hives and uh, start putting uh, more fondant and pollen patties and start uh, leveling out populations in here. Helping the, the weak hives by putting brood in them and weakening the strong hives that are getting strong too quick. Okay, real quick, one thing I am going to do with this hive here, I'm going to take one of these boxes and I'm going to put it right between these two just so they'll have more space and it'll give them something to start working on. And that won't take me long at all. I just got to set this one aside. Won't even take the lid off. And these bees here can clean up those dead ones in there that are in those cells. Smoker's not lit very well. <laughs> it's gone out. Now this is going to be really top heavy. So we want to be sure we get some good weight on top of it so we got a brick and a battery all right okay that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it uh got through these three nukes uh two out of three ain't bad i guess this uh, one here will be headed to tulsa tomorrow gonna lock that down th this evening when the sun sets lock those bees inside and uh, maybe even transport it up there and get it ready to roll out in the vehicle so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i'd appreciate that and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care